Hello, I'm Tayo. Robots can be very slow and tedious. Here are some tips to help you speed up your progress. If you want to speed up progress just a little bit, then you want to join a clan. Warrobots gives you new tasks with rewards that boost your games. Request each one of the clans and see if any of them don't care that you're a stranger and decide to accept you into the clan. Free-for-alls give you a lot of money if you place in the top 3. Unlike other game modes, you don't need to rely on your teammates. If you play your cards right, you are guaranteed to win most of the time. I've been winning at least 3 gold every time and they are definitely the most rewarding game mode. Watching videos can be really tedious and annoying but it is the closest thing that you can offer to Pixonic if you are sane. They will give you a whole lot for 30 seconds of your life. You can only watch one video for every match you do. It will take you around 10 minutes for every video so you have to spend them wisely. The crates look really tempting on the surface but like most other money grabber mechanics, they don't give you anything. Watching a video gives you one bronze crate. You have a huge chance of winning silver which will mean nothing to you and you only have a 10% chance of winning tickets which will be usually 10 and 20 if you're very lucky. Once you collect 100, you have a slight chance you'll get anything worth it. You'll get worthless robots and when you do get a pretty gun or a robot, you will feel like all those hours you spent on it was worth it. Unfortunately, that never happens. Now speeding up your upgrades using videos is actually one of the best things you can do with it. You will get at least 20 gold worth of time reduction if you use them wisely, and you can speed up your upgrades like crazy. Upgrading guns and robots only takes silver and time, so if you're making slow progress, then I highly suggest this method of using videos. You can also use it for reward boosting. When you finish a match, you are given the option to get more out of your battle. It offers silver and honor points, which is okay, but it doesn't do much. So how do you build your robots to succeed? Here I rank the cheapest robots from best to worst. Forgive me if I am pronouncing any of them wrong, which I most likely will. So Griffin, Fujin, Leo, Natasha, then Stalker. Griffin gives you most for a little silver, having good speed with his jump, strength with its medium and small slots, and nice durability as well. It outplays most of the cheaper robots in combat. I suggest Tyrants and Magnums or Punishers. Fujin is rather cheap for a guy with 4 legs. 3 medium slots is good for all situations but Fujin is helpless against energy weapons. Still a good buy. Better in firepower and defense compared to Griffin. Mix and match with Tyrants and Orcans or use Punisher T's. Leo and Natasha are impressive with firepower but they lack in speed. Great for combat but you might be cheesed by lower class robots. I suggest Thunder, Zeus or Ansel for Leo's large slot and Magnums or Pins for Leo's small slot. Zenith, Ansel or Thunder, and Geckos or Magnums for Natasha. Now Stalker costs 500 gold but is cheaper than most weapons. It doesn't have any firepower or durability and can only make up for it by being the fastest robot and with its stealth. Using stealth, you can evade most situations and you might be able to take beacons but you will not be able to defend it. Pretty lacking but better than most of the other lighter robots. Magnums or Echoes will work on this robot very well, steal kills and collect beacons for extra rewards. For those of you with more money in their pockets, I rank these robots. Rhino, Butch, Carnage, Raijin, then Galahad. Rhino is crazy with his shield and speed boost. With Punishers, you can deal damage to opponents while approaching them, then finish them off using Orkins and Tarant. I haven't seen his shield break too often, it is definitely one of the best robots out there. Butch has crazy firepower having the most heavy weapon slots as a gold priced robot. 4 trebuchets allow it to deal massive damage from a distance. When 2 is reloading, swap to the other 2. Its speed and durability is rather disappointing but you should be able to take down bots before they get to you. Raijin is one of the bulkiest builds with a powerful physical shield. Its problem lies in its mobility, needing to become stationary to tank out hits. Definitely worth 4,000 gold. I suggest Thunders or Trebuchets, which get 30% upgraded when you go into your stationary form. Carnage has a less impressive energy shield and durability. All energy weapons can take them down quickly. Keep robots away from you as Tyrants and Magnums are your worst weakness. If you have double trident, you only need to worry about Zeus's and Geckos, and they tend to have really low DPS. Galahad is another fragile robot despite having a shield. It is much more versatile than Carnage but has lowly firepower. 
Magnums and Terrans can give it higher damage output, and Geckos and Molot Ts allow you to play defensively from afar. Beware of explosives. Use these robots to boost through matches and gain as much silver and gold as possible. And that's all for the video. See you in a while.